Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. My series would not be complete if I didn't share with you my one last main organizing thing for in-use journals and books. And that would be my Bible basket. I have not yet found the perfect tote or maybe even a softer woven type basket. This one we had on hand and it works fine, but I would like something that's not so, um, I like structure, but not this rigidity. So I'm, I'm looking around for something different, but this is what I would call my Bible basket. And the stuff I use daily, I'll get up in the morning, come downstairs, get my coffee or breakfast, and oftentimes start the day by doing some combination of the stuff in here. First off, I have my, let me, I will move this to the side so you can more easily see what is in the basket. This is my current Bible. Currently I have this CSB book Bible and I liked this kind of beige linen. I have shown this before, I've added tabs. I have been working through the New Testament with a reading plan from our church. And essentially I take notes and highlight things as they stand out to me. This book I haven't been consistent with because I've been doing other things. At the end of the year when I finish up the New Testament reading, I will go back to reading this book. I really like uh, John MacArthur's devotionals. This is a lovely forest green crazy horse leather that my friend Donna surprised me with. And I use this for church notes. Next is this clipped together bundle of memory verses. Many of these I have been working on for years. I like to review them periodically. Some are rusty. There's a few that are, are okay, but I do do those once or twice a week. Let's see. I have my next gratitude journal waiting for when the current one is full. I did that um, because I was afraid I'd forget about it. So I just stuck it in here and it's waiting its turn. This is a book that I was made aware of um, from my daughter. There's other volumes. This is called Every Moment Holy. And they're like um, little readings. For different situations. I do like these. They're they're more like a formal thing and yet very personal, personable, very much as as um, one having a relationship with God in a personal way, but they're written in a poetic, more of a poetic way. That's what I'm trying to say. Nice little book, handy, good size. It's not too big. It's not too heavy. It's some faux type leather, but it's it feels really nice to hold it. And then I bought this little cute Bible. I saw it on Instagram from uh, My White Bible. And I don't know that person's name, but she had shown something like this, very similar in size to a phone. And her challenge was to pick up your Bible more than you just pick up your phone. And so I thought, okay, I'll have this handy. I tried to do that. This ended up being the Bible that I take to church because it's really lightweight. I just keep it in there and put it in and out of my purse as needed. And then I have my um, speckled fawns. What is the name of this leather? Um, Sahara. It's a uh, light tan or beige and it has darkened with time where I primarily hold it in my hands. It's getting a gray patina, but I like the pockets. The pen loop is nice, even though I really don't use it. I like the option, and then there's card slots. Here's my gratitude journal, my scripture memory journal, and my scripture writing journal. I will read something, and like I showed you as I'm reading through the Bible, I'll highlight things. Then typically I'll take the things that I highlighted and pick one of my pens for the day and rewrite it. Now I do that because one, I love writing with fountain pens. Two, it helps me review 
what stood out to me. And three, it helps me think about how I can apply that, how I am affected by that, what is the message. And my friend uh, Donna gave that to me. I think that is a nice contrast on this lighter color. Then I have a couple little, well, one more notebook. This is the one I got from Katya. This is called Poor Little Guy because he's all beat up, but he's not lonely anymore. I gave him a little scruffy bow tie, so he's spiffed up a little, but still not out of his comfort zone. And <laughs> I'm so weird. I know. Um, I love this sticker. I got this at the hospital where my daughter just had her son, and it's called Mercy Hospital. So I think it's sort of a pun, but I love this. I say that all the time. Something is just like eye rolling. And I'm like, oh, Lord, have mercy. I am writing my prayer request and leaving space for answers. I'm following some suggestions that some of you commented on how to set up the prayer format. Then I have this wonderful pouch. I use this for all my highlighters. And then I had just been given this nice little pen and I don't have a ballpoint in here and sometimes I just need a basic pen so I'm carrying that in there too and then Kim had also purchased this for me some time ago it's like that other pouch I showed you in the other video it just carries some miscellaneous stuff that I want on hand pen nail file I'm always finding little things that need to be fixed on my nail another little ruler that's handy from my friend Marcy um, and a date stamp, ink, and a glue stick. And this is very sad because the two broke off. So I'll have to write in my twos if they come in the first part of the date. And this is kind of funny, but my son worked at a place that makes pet supplies, pet grooming supplies. And sometimes they would have things for free that there was something wrong with the packaging or whatever. So he brought me home these deep cleaning pet wipes, which work perfectly for cleaning your ink pads. So I keep that in there. And then I just have this letter from a missionary um, in Ukraine. And I loved how he opened his letter. It sounds like you were reading a New Testament epistle, the way he greets the readers of our Sunday school class. So it was so beautifully put and poetic that I just hung on to that. And that's it. This is this is my little, not so little, kind of a little bit clunky and unwieldy. That's the word. But it does, it serves the purpose and I didn't have to buy it. But I would like something slightly different in the future and I will know it when I see it I'm sure. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.